Hey guys, just a quick heads up before the raid, we're gonna be launching an Australia 5X server Friday, January 10th. Good luck to everyone this way. Okay, so here's the base I'm gonna be taking out. Of course, airdrops are coming in, two of them pretty close by. This always happens when I'm about to raid. But we should be okay for this raid from counters. I'm pretty prepared. They have the SAM sites up, so we don't really have to worry about helicopters as much. And I'm bringing an auto turret, planning on taking this TC, setting up the auto turret, and then we'll be pretty much guarded from all counter raiders possible. So the privilege is pretty weak on this base. We might be able to just build straight over these walls. All right, there we go. Definitely gonna make sure to shoot this thing down though. Okay, so here's the TC I wanna take and we'll throw an auto turret up. Okay, it's not even locked. Just a tiny bit of stone in there. All right, we've got some excellent privilege here too. That's gonna be pretty nice. I could actually build up here a little bit too. I wanted to rock it straight into the back of this thing. Seems like we already have a counter raider coming in on a minicopter. Yep. He just crashed. All right, we'll start sending some rockets into here and see what we can do. I think that counter raider is probably gonna be coming over here. They might have both actually died. Okay, we're into some armored walls, it looks like. I think I'll start using C4 here. Sheet metal and stone. Send some rockets in here. Okay, finally, the sheet metal's broken, but still nothing. Oh my gosh, this thing is way more secure than I expected in another armored wall. Maybe we could send four rockets in here, but I'm gonna be out of rockets completely. So we're gonna have to C4 now. This is gonna take like six C4. I guess we should go for the armored. Seems like this could be something good compared to the sheet. And we've got TC. Let's go, it's sealed off completely too. Got pretty lucky there. Okay, I've got to check the TC for wood. Don't have enough wood to make another TC. 
65K wood, 30K sulfur, 60K GP. Very nice score there. Let's make this secured off. Okay, tons of protection there. I'm gonna go ahead and go into this sheet metal. I think it could be a loot room. We just got super lucky finding this TC right off the bat. Yep, coffin loot room, it's sealed off too. We're gonna have to blast straight into this armored. Hazzies, weapons, furnaces. More sulfur in the furnaces too. Metal. All right, looks like we're gonna have to go in with eight C4. I'm gonna be down to one C4 left. Could craft this stuff up into rockets or C4 if they have components and a workbench in there. Okay, we've got some garage doors. Honestly, it looks like the loot is gonna be sealed off all around the edges in these squares. We're gonna have to blow into armored on every single loot room. This is gonna be expensive. So I do have workbench three, as you can see, and I was able to craft up some more rockets. We can still craft up a little bit more, but I'm gonna go with 10 and see how far we get. Okay, we've got a sleeper, and yep, it looks like the loot rooms are all gonna be completely sealed off around the edge. Pretty smart way to do it. It's gonna be super expensive now. And looks like they didn't leave me any rockets in the launchers either. So I'll craft up as many rockets as I can, and we'll start blasting out these loot rooms. Hopefully we get the one with rockets and C4 in it. I've got exactly 17 rockets, just enough to do two of these loot rooms. Okay, here we go. Coffins on both sides. Need to put down a foundation here. What do we got? More weapons? Gear sets? Another sleeper in here. He's got some mats on him. And we'll check these last two boxes. I don't really have enough to finish off these loot rooms. Don't think it's even gonna be worth it, to be honest. And a bunch of garbage, yeah. It's kind of picked through, almost like they raided a little bit. They just had some stuff left in the TC. So I'm gonna leave with 15k sulfur. It's totally not gonna be a profit. Since these guys are pretty smart about their loot rooms, sealing them completely off on every single loot room. Way to go, nice job. That's not a bad base build at all. Hey guys, so I wanted to try raiding this base with like 10 auto turrets on the top of it. Bunch of solar panels. A few rockets here should make quick work of these turrets, but since we're above this base, I wanted to go ahead and try to set my own auto turret and TC above their privilege. So it looks like we took down all the turrets just by taking out those solar panels. Now to find privilege here. Okay, we can build right here. This might help me, should help me a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. Not positive how much this turret is gonna be able to guard me, but we'll see.
So I guess I might as well keep rocketing from up here. We'll try to take out some of these ceilings. Okay, one ceiling down. That looks like it's armored. I'm gonna go straight for C4 here. Okay. Auto turret in there. It's turned off. Armored wall here going towards the back. I think this is where the loot's gonna be. Let's send rockets here just in case. And is this foundation? Yeah, this is foundation. Send some rockets down here. Workbench three, I'm gonna drop down here. A little bit more secure. Foundation got destroyed and we revealed some boxes here under the foundation. LRs, AKs, and there's TC. All right, we need to get in there. More LRs, just a bunch of weapons so far. TC's not even locked. Sounds like we have a counter raider in the water. Um, let's go ahead and check TC. Hi. Ow. He's getting shot up. You make profit? There is no sulfur in this TC though. I think this dude is definitely hiding the sulfur somewhere sealed off because there was no sulfur whatsoever in the TC. Um, I'm gonna check next to this workbench. Usually that's where the loot is hidden. I mean, it could be behind the CC as well. But this workbench was completely sealed off and seemed kind of suspicious. This is already a little bit weak. We'll send a few rockets and then C4. Okay, four C4 here. Empty. Um, okay, we could try here behind this TC. This is gonna be really expensive though, 7C4. Okay, nothing there, half floors. So I'm wondering, is the loot gonna be against this rock somewhere? I wanna try these walls, because that's where I would put the loot if you're on a rock base like this. Up against the rock makes sense. And these foundations are metal, so it'd be way cheaper if we just take the foundation. Nothing, okay, there's a sleeper here. He's got all the sulfur on his body, 39K sulfur. Bunch of charcoal. But that isn't gonna be profit because we use a bunch of rockets and C4 just trying to find this loot room. Could try a few more walls over here, but I mean, this is soft side. I don't think there's gonna be any more possibly here, but they're all soft side. So I think we'll go ahead and leave with that. I mean, we didn't see components even. Okay, there were components in here, just not that many. So we'll leave with that 40k sulfur. He had it all sealed off on his body. Didn't expect to see that. 